This is one of the neatest effects I've seen with the blend tool. First, I created three very small circles. I filled each of these with a different gradient, and I made sure that there is a 90 degree angle on each gradient. If you forgot, under Appearance Fill, you can click Gradient, and then edit the gradient. Okay, so make sure that this is under Linear, and it has a 90 degree angle. Okay. So I'm right here at step A. I want to select each of the circles. I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to go to object, blend, make. Then I want to change the number of steps to 400. I'm going to double click and yes, we're going to make that 400 steps. Next, I want to use the paintbrush tool, shortcut B. Next, I want to write something, and it needs to be one continuous path. And it may take you a couple of times to kind of practice with the paintbrush until you kind of get exactly what you want. I'll pretend that's perfect. Next, I want to select both the blended circles okay, and my name. Then I'm going to go to Object, Blend, and then Replace Spine. I had to try again with a different word. So next I want to select my blended circles, hold the shift key down, and my word. Next I'm going to go to object, blend, replace spine, and now you can see your cool design. Now you can see the final product that it shows.